And here is the planter box. I've decided to put it out back here so it's in just about the sunniest part of the yard there is. So that'll really be an interesting experiment to see how long that holds out. I, I would imagine that's going to start to gray really soon. But anyways, we got some stuff planted in there, some herbs. I've got, uh, oh, let's see, cilantro and um, some peppers. I've got some cayenne pepper and a poblano pepper. I'm really looking forward to those. They might be a little bit crowded in there. I don't know. We'll see. So it would appear as though spring has taken a pass and gone right on into summer this year. <laughs> it's really getting hot out. It's already 7.30 out and very warm. But I came out here early because I wanted to start working on this. This is my uh, vegetable garden. And we haven't planted anything in here in the last couple of years. So it's going to be fun to get back into growing tomatoes, which is really what I want to grow. So I got to till all that dirt up. I had to get all the weeds out. If you'll notice all of my papyrus plants here, I cut them all down last week <laughs> and look at them, they're springing back up. I still need to cut back these. I've got this uh, pond down there that I need to cut back on. And wow, everything is just growing like crazy. Oh, I wanna show you also the, uh, the poppies. Remember I, I showed you the, that poppy that was coming up? So check it out now. <laughs> it's like an entire plant growing up here. That's really cool. Well, there's how much I've got tilled now. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you is another use for bender board. Here is a uh, fence I made with it. I made this long, long time ago. So basically I just set these uh, posts into concrete in the ground. I actually made this gate with using the bender board on for the slats also. Uh, I can't really get to it now because I've got my tomato cages and everything packed up there. Uh, but anyways, I just wanted a curved fence, and so, yeah, I just used the bender board and just kind of bent it around and screwed it in, and it works great. It's lasted for years. Oh, another use of bender board. <laughs> I used it for this, uh, well, I guess you would call it a faux wall. This uh, retaining wall here is actually made out of stucco, concrete, you know, cinder block, <laughs> I guess is what I'm trying to say. And I wanted to cover it up, just make it look nicer, so... Yeah, it's all just uh, redwood bender board. Whenever I work outside, I have an audience. <laughs> Can you see it? There, there she is. There's my cat. Oh, she's afraid of cameras. <laughs> all right, I got that all tilled up. Now I'm going to get some chicken manure and some more topsoil. I'm going to work that all into it, and then I'm going to start planting my tomatoes. Well, I got all the tomatoes planted. I planted five just because I have five tomato cages. Uh, by the way, I, I made these a long time ago, and it's just baling wire that I've just, uh, you know, tied together. These are way better than those cone-shaped ones you buy, which are way too small. These are great because they really completely fill up with the tomato plants. But I only have room for these five in here. I might plant something else over here. I'm not really sure yet. But anyways, that's, uh, that's what I got. They look kind of ill right now, but uh, hopefully they'll come true pretty soon. This one over here I just picked up today. I'm really looking forward to this one here because it's called a, a chocolate cherry. So <laughs> it's a cherry tomato. I guess they grow black or something, so I'm looking forward to tasting that one. But tomatoes are really the only plant vegetable that I like to plant. I guess tomato's not technically a vegetable. It's a fruit. But uh, it's the only thing I like to plant because it's the only thing I can't buy a good version of. Everything else, I can pretty much go to the store, you know, like lettuce or something. <laughs> lettuce always tastes like lettuce to me. I don't know. Uh, but tomato, got to have a homegrown tomato. <laughs> so I'll keep showing you the progress of the tomato uh, plants in the months ahead.